on display in the basement of the McLean County Historical Museum in Bloomington is a small home-built plane that once set several speed records. This is the Tilbury Flash. It is one of the largest artifacts in the museum's collection of nearly 20,000 objects that represent the material culture of McLean County. It's a racing plane built in the early 1930s um, during the height of the Depression. Owen Tilbury was an engineer at the Williams oil matic factory and he'd been to several air races of the time period and thought it would be very interesting if he and some friends could build their own plane to race, maybe make a few dollars during the Depression. The races were set on closed courses which were oblong. These low altitude aerial courses were defined by checkered pylons. He and his friends got together and they engineered this airplane. Uh, one of the famous local pilots of the time, Art Carnahan, was asked to be the pilot of the plane. And Art was a, a local pilot and barnstormer. And he was a very small fellow. And so they actually built the plane, the cockpit especially, around Art to minimize its size. It only has a wingspan of about 12 and a half feet. The plane was built in um, the upstairs room of the, of the Castle Theater just down the street from us. The plane is powered by a motorcycle engine. The first time they took it out for a run, they did not get the plane off the ground. That was in 1932, but in 1933 they did succeed in getting it off the ground and it raced in several air races and it achieved its top speed of 120 miles per hour, which at that time period was the fastest speed in its race class. The Flash's very first competition took place at the Chicago American Air Races of July 6, 1933. In its first heat, the Flash, piloted by Art Carnahan, finished second. In the second heat, Carnahan decided to use a new strategy that would keep him out of the prop wash of the larger competing planes. Carnahan flew under all the other races instead of flying alongside or behind them. The strategy worked, and the Flash won the Polish trophy. The airplane continued to race. Um, during the 1930s with several different air pilots and then somewhere in the late 30s it, it stopped racing and the plane was actually lost for several decades and was rediscovered in the 1970s by a group who brought it back to McLean County and had it restored and donated to the McLean County Museum of History. For a long time it hung in the museum's previous site. When we moved in 1991 uh, we had it restored again um, and it sits here for everyone to see. Unfortunately, you can't fly it anymore. To reach the McLean County Museum of History, call 309-827-0428 or go to their website at www.machistory.gov.